Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 30-year-old female with right knee pain, and we look at this knee and we can see a very nice looking bone up top here called the femur, it comes down here, it has a rounded area, there's no arthritis, there's no marrow changes, it looks like a nice normal femur. This is the lateral side of it, it's called the lateral femoral condyle, it's the medial side, and below that we see the tibia to get oriented. So this is the femur, thigh bone, tibia, leg bone, and they come together and they have a medial or inner joint and the outer joint called the lateral compartment. Now the medial compartment has a little black wedge here called the medial meniscus, a little fibrocartilaginous black band. And this is nice and smooth and uniform, nice and dark, like a normal looking medial meniscus. On the opposite side, we should have something that looks very, very similar called the lateral meniscus, and it fits right here in between the medial, I'm sorry, the lateral femoral condyle and lateral tibial plateau. And we can see that there's something different about these. Instead of being almost uh, symmetric in size, one is much larger over here, this lateral meniscus is way larger than the medial meniscus. And this means that it's just developmentally or congenitally enlarged. And when, when one meniscus is bigger than the other, we call it a discoid meniscus. There's lots of variability. Sometimes they can be really huge and go way in the inside. Sometimes they can be just slightly larger. But when they are over about 1.4 centimeters in transverse dimension, we call it a discoid meniscus. And so this is about 1.6 centimeters, so just a little bit too big. It's also a little bit too tall. And so this is a discoid lateral meniscus. And this is a very common finding. We see it all the time in asymptomatic patients. Lots of time people go through their whole lives without any trouble at all. But on occasion, it can go on to a tear. And this is a classic type of a tear here, where the meniscus has a shearing component right through the middle, and the meniscus will split into a top and bottom component here. And so this is a horizontal, what we call an intrasubstance tear. And it doesn't contact the top, it doesn't contact the bottom, but it contacts the outer rim over here. So this is again a discoid lateral meniscus, very common finding, usually asymptomatic, but on occasion you can get this shear forces right in the middle because it's large and it'll cause a tear within the substance just like this. And again, discoid lateral meniscus and the medial meniscus looks normal. And thank you very much.